All right, you guys got me. I'm doing, I'm doing the video, I'm, I'm doing it. Now before everything starts, I know some of you are just here to watch the actual tutorial segment where I run through the new example survivor template. So a timestamp is here to go to it if you're just here for the tutorial. But basically about half a year ago, I was playing Risk of Rain 2 with some friends. After about 20 hours in the game, we all decided, hey, it would be fun if we looked into whether or not there's mods for this game. And so then we ended up downloading a bunch of the survivors people had made that were really fun, like the Akali one, the Aatrox one, the Twitch one, those were all really sick. And so then I thought to myself, oh, I could do one of those too, something fun to play with friends. And so then I decided to make the mod that I did, the Riven mod, that is on the Thunderstore, which has now got 60,000 downloads. Which is absolutely insane to me because it wasn't supposed to be polished, it was just supposed to be, you know, it was easy to put it up there to play with friends and I made it in a day. So then I made a YouTube video on it because after going through it, I realized that it wasn't the most accessible thing in terms of documentation. Plus, I knew a lot of people wanted to actually make their own Survivor. So I made a tutorial. It's the most viewed video on my channel by like a lot. And uh, I'm gonna be honest. Like I know that I'm like the best YouTuber ever made, obviously, but uh, as it turns out, YouTube's like kind of glitched or something. It actually says I only have like, what is it? Like 83 subscribers as of the time of making this video, which is really weird, right? But it, as it turns out, I just, I wasn't expecting like every day since I made the mod and I made the video, I've woken up to a new Discord DM or a new YouTube comment, somebody asking me to make an update to the video or the mod. So I updated the mod, I did that, and here's me updating the video. But I'm not gonna go through all of the code section again and all of the, like, the audio section, all that stuff. It's kind of unnecessary, not much has changed there. And also, before we get into this, a public disclaimer. I gotta be honest about this. Making a Risk of Rain 2 mod is not the easiest thing you could be doing in Unity. If you've never used C Sharp or you've never used Unity before, you probably shouldn't be making a Risk of Rain 2 mod. I've got a bunch of links down in the description for you to learn how to use Unity or learn how to use C Sharp if you're at all interested in learning programming or learning game development. But it's highly recommended, I only put it like on screen briefly I think in the last video, that you have an understanding of C Sharp already before you go into this. If you don't want to go watch any of the stuff I linked down below, you don't have to. I mean, tutorials are boring, let's face it. So on this channel in the coming weeks and months, I'm doing a tutorial series on how to make your own game going from start to finish, literally everything that you need to know. Right now it's more in uh, the pre-production like conceptual phase, but it'll go through the entire lifespan of game development. So you'll get very acquainted with Unity, you'll get acquainted with C Sharp, you'll get acquainted with C++, Unreal, everything. But if you don't care about any of that and you just want to make your own Risk of Rain 2 mod, fine, all the power to you. Because now we're going to go through the new and improved example survivor template. A link to the GitHub of the template is down in the description. Uh, there's a really good tutorial on there as well already. So here we are inside the brand new survivor template. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is drag our character model into the scene. Next, we're going to want to rename our character. If we don't have one already, we're gonna add an animator component here. We're also going to add another component, which is a child locator script. Next, we're going to add an empty game object as a child of our character object in the scene here. Call it main hurt box and add a capsule collider to it. As you might have guessed, you should scale this to fit the size of your character and how big you want the hitbox to be, and generally speaking, you should want to put the pivot in the center. This determines the center position of your character, it's where the enemies will aim at and certain particle effects will show up. In our child locator script from before, we're going to want to add a new entry. Once we've created our entry, we're going to drag the hurtbox object from our character onto this script. After all that's done, we're going to drag our game object back into the project window. After that, we're going to do the exact same thing again. This will display a prompt that asks you if you would like to create a new prefab. Here, make a prefab variant. This is going to end up being the display prefab used in the lobby, so name it accordingly. Once this is done, open the Asset Bundle browser. If you don't have it installed, here's how you do it. So open up the Asset Bundle browser and create a new Asset Bundle. Drag whatever assets you're using into it and then build it. Then we're going to want to take the product of this, the Asset Bundle, and put it into our C-Sharp project. Keep in mind that nothing here has changed since the last video, so this is pretty much where it ends. All the programming section and all that stuff I detailed in the last video is still the same. And so there it is. Example Survivor Template. Done. If after going through that, you still don't understand how to make like your entire character from that, I highly recommend, again, going and checking out any of the tutorial resources I linked down in the description or waiting for my videos on how to make your own game. 
Because once again, and I can't emphasize this enough, it's not the easiest thing you could be doing inside of Unity or inside of C-sharp. But with all that being said, there's no point in dragging on this video because the information you need, it's done, it's gone. And with all that being said, finally, I will see you all in the next one. Later.